Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, it's all about the C10. We got some upgrades coming up for it. I want to share it with you guys. I'm going to get them done and we're going to get this thing out on the trail and test it. We're going to actually take this thing out to Scale Mountain. It's one of my local places where I can crawl out and rock crawl. So we're going to get it out there and give it a little bit of testing. I appreciate it guys. Let's go check out the video. What? What's Mini Me doing? He's playing with a box. Yes, guys. You guys see it correctly. It's a Holmes Hobby revolver motor. This one is part number 12010079. It's the revolver V2 2500 KV 10 pole from Holmes Hobby. This one retails with shipping, $94. So it's a little pricey, but definitely well worth it. At least we hope. Let me go ahead and get this thing put up into the truck and uh, show you guys everything else because I got a surprise for you on it as well. Well, everybody, the work is done. It was just a matter of a millisecond for you guys and it was a matter of a little longer than that for me what what is that that is a transmission for the SCX 10 2 fully aluminum I will put the link in the description and that is full metal gear metal spur on top of it this one retails $45, $46 on Amazon. Uh, definite uh, $25 more. And it's fully metal. Everything metal. Comes fully assembled. Ball bearing. Everything. It's awesome. But there's another thing different. That, my friend, is the Holmes Hobby Revolver Motor. 2500 KV. This is not the stub can. Uh... Stub can doesn't have the torque that this one does. This one's a diesel of electric motors. At least that's what they classify it at. I am running a Hobby Wing 10X Easy Run. Rated for a 2 to 4S. Plenty of amperage, plenty of everything for this motor. Uh, you're going to do something like this. Make sure you upgrade your ESC. You want at least a 20, 120 amp ESC to handle this. We have upgraded links. Got something a little stiffer for it. Got rid of the stock links. You guys already know about the uh, portal axles we put on. That's where it kind of started with the portal axles and the king shocks. And then now we just went crazy with it. This truck's a nice truck, guys. Well, let's go ahead and get it out and test it out on the rocks, man. Let's just see how well it works.
Man, that is some awesome upgrades. Uh, the Revolver 2500 KV 10 pole motor is, man, that thing's got so much torque. It's crazy, because I run a stock uh, 35 turn uh, brushed motor in that before, uh, the axial motor. I run a 55 Ghoul RC brushed motor in it, and up on that waterfall, I could not get it to climb. Uh, put this motor in, I don't know if it's the torque and the speed, or I finally got the weight biased right, because now I'm running a 3S in this thing. And maybe it's the gearing. Uh, transmission's completely new. It's billet aluminum, metal gear, uh, 35, 32 pitch gearing now. So it's good mesh. Uh, all in all, dude, I, I love this truck. Definitely way better than what it was. I cannot wait until I take this thing to USTE. This truck is awesome. I love this truck. This is my best truck for a crawler truck so far. I enjoy it. Uh, if you guys haven't hit the subscribe button, please do so. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Uh, we're going to go a couple more couple more weeks on this, running it and all that stuff. And I'm going to give you my full review of everything we've done to it. Axles, the motor, the transmission, you name it, I'm going to give it to you guys. And uh, so far, so good. Alright guys, we're going to catch you on the next episode. Have a good one, everybody.